Hi, good evening. My name is Greg McHugh. I'm from Harriman, New York. Uh, I'm the owner of this uh, 1972 Plymouth Roadrunner GTX. I've owned the vehicle for about a year. Found it in California on eBay. It's pretty rare in the fact that uh, they did away with the GTX in 72. And the only way you could get a GTX jet designation was by ordering the 440 motor option. Hi, Everett Homburg from Old Japan, New Jersey, and this is a 1980 Clinet, built in an aircraft hangar by a gentleman that uh, designed the Studebaker Vante. He and a bunch of other people hand-built these on the frames and the Lincoln motors, and uh, they built 183 of this, which is a Series 2. They built 250 of this, a Series 1, but they only got 183 of the Series 2 before they went bankrupt and uh, stopped production. And, then somebody else bought the company Mora. I think he's got it going now again. And uh, they're just building new ones. Uh, but it's supposed to look like a 30 Rolls Royce. And uh, never heard of it before I saw it and bought it. <laughs> Hi, name's Scott Cleon. I'm from Gardner, New York. And this is my 1961 Ferrari 250 GTE. I've owned the car since 2008, performed a complete mechanical restoration of the car over the course of about three years at a shop up in Vermont called RPM, and pretty much kept it original um, cosmetically and mechanically, um, and all the original parts are there. It's a matching numbers car. Um, the 250 GTE was built on the same platform as the California Spider, the short wheelbase, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the Lusso, um, and what Ferrari want to do is come out with a four-seater um, to compete with the likes of Maserati and Aston Martin who are building high-performance four-seater cars and stealing some of the market share. And as it turns out, this was their best seller um, from 61 to 64. Uh, they were over, a little over 950 made and about 300 survived to this day. Some were just junked um, and others were converted into GTO and short wheelbase and California Spider recreations. Um, <clears throat> the car in its day, um, and you have to put things in perspective, was probably the Lamborghini of the 60s. It was um, considered a supercar. It was a four seat um, coupe but it could go zero to 100 um, and back down to zero in 25 seconds, comfortably seat four people, um, and cruise all day at 80, 90 miles an hour. Um, it's a 250 uh, hor horsepower, uh, 250 engine, and the 250 designates the uh, cubic centimeter displacement of each cylinder. That was a nomenclature that Ferrari used. And um, I've been taking it to shows in the area and just driving the wheels off it. I really like the Bear Mountain Show because it's a relaxed environment and you get a very uh, diverse mix of not only cars but also owners and spectators. And people just come here with a passion for their own particular car and, uh, and you feel it. <clears throat> um, anything from a 64 Darge Dot up to a Countach Lamborghini. Um, and so that's why I keep coming back, because you meet a lot of very nice people who have a passion for, for cars, like me. Hi, my name is Hank Ween. I'm from Mailpack, New York. Uh, I bought this 66 uh, Ford Galaxy 500 in 2006. And uh, when I bought it, it was uh, green with a black vinyl top had dented stainless, it kind of needed a lot of everything. Uh, I brought it home and uh, my wife said, why did you buy a green car? You hate green. I said, because I have an idea. It may take me some time, it may take me a couple bucks, but I think I can make it to where I really want to. When I was a kid growing up, we used to buy a car for our next door neighbor for 50 bucks, bring it home and we turn it into a hot rod. Well, that was the whole idea behind this. The only thing is, it cost me a little more than 50 bucks to get into this. The first year I did, uh, I switched the automatic over to a four speed, found a lot of parts on eBay, got some help from some friends. Uh, 2012, we did the motor, 
a guy in Danbury, Joe Lapine, put it together for me. I put that in the car, did the whole front suspension, back suspension, uh, did the interior, and now I'm just having fun with it. Uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, next thing in store for it is uh, getting some red line tires for it, and then I'm almost done. Uh, I put electric cutouts on in, in 2016. That was a little bit of a blast. Had to hide that from the wife. Hope she don't go on YouTube uh, to find that out. But uh, that's just about it. Having fun uh, cruising with my friends. I've been coming here since uh, probably 1998, almost when it started, with my other car, a 67 Buick GS. What I like about it the best is you see cars that you don't normally see, and uh, there's a lot of spectators come up here. They pay four or five bucks to get in, so they're serious people. They go around, they look at the cars, and uh, they, they give you a little bit of an evaluation of what they think of your car, and I really like that. That's, that's a, a, a nice treat for me. I look forward to Wednesdays. Hi, how you doing? I'm Joe Barra. This is my 1972 Corvette that I've owned for 35 years. When I bought it, it was triple black, bone stock, and over the 35 years, you see this museum piece that I've created today. Um, puts a lot of smiles on people's face, and I like that. I like making people happy, especially when I fire it up. It's a blown 502 with a 671 blower, twin Demon 775 carbs. All gold plating is 24 karat. Got a custom double cross flow aluminum radiator, brand new. Two billet, 12 inch billet fans. Uh, as you can see, the whole engine compartment is done in polished stainless steel. The engine pushes uh, 703 horsepower at the crank and 585 at the rear wheels. Uh, wheels are American Racing, 15-8 uh, front, 15-10 rear, with Mickey Thompson SR Sportsman radials. It's got halo lighting for stop light and tail lights. People love this car, put smiles on their faces, and I like making people happy.